Hello, my name is Danny McCarter. I'm here at the Cherokee National History Museum. The traditional Cherokee game that I want to introduce to you right now is stickball. Now stickball was a, not only a game to the Cherokee and the other southeastern tribes, it's also a way to settle disputes. A lot of people say stickball came from lacrosse, but a lot of us say no, lacrosse came from stickball. So when you see a stickball game, it's each man has two sticks and they're all chasing this one leather ball. The original game was played uh, on a football sized field with two poles sticking out on each end for goals. Objects of that game was to get this ball between your sticks, run between those poles and score points. Not allowed to touch the ball with your hands. That's one of the rules that they have. So if your sticks get broken in a game, you, if you want to try to pick the ball up, you got to pick it up with your mouth and run with it. But normally that don't mean you're going to get hit in the head to try to get the ball out of your mouth. So it's a really rough game. Uh, a lot of injuries in the earlier days, even uh, some deaths. But seeing as uh, we were one of the largest tribes in the southeast and we controlled about 80 million acres in an eight state region, a lot of our little villages, this is how we settled disputes. Instead of going to war, uh, we would settle them on the stickball field. And that was normally better than losing half of our tribe uh, in a fight with, uh, with another part of our tribe. So stickball was really a, a, a good game for that. Now the balls, they're made out of uh, usually deer hide uh, with uh, deer hair in the middle wrapped around a big rock for weight. Now the sticks can be made out of any kind of hardwood. Hickory is one of the favorites. Uh, these right here are made from the bodart wood or horse apple tree. That's what we use to make our bows as well. The string here on the inside is made from elk hide, but you can use any kind of deer sinew, which uh, is what the Cherokees use a lot for different kinds of string, things like that. But these are elk hide here, but like I said, they're steamed and then they're bent over. Now to the string itself, um, we use what we call a tic-tac-toe design. That's kind of the one I've always seen. But they do have what they call the diamond pattern where you make different designs in there. And so it really doesn't matter as long as you can catch this little ball. Now there's two ways to throw the, throw the ball. Now, a lot of times you'll see people grab it like this, put their thumbs on the back of it, take it over their head and release it up here. Now then some people like to throw it, draw it back and just uh, kind of use one stick to guide it. So it's really got a different way of throwing. I, I myself, I've figured out that you really got to kind of throw it this way, especially if you're playing with girls, because you really don't have a chance to really pull it over your head and throw it. Uh, we play a lot with girls. Uh, we play the uh, social game. Now the social game was normally played with a, with a pole and a fish on top. That's the one you see nowadays. We really don't play the war game anymore. And this, was all, this, this came about to kind of a uh, courtship type to let the women pick out a husband. Because when you get out and play this game, boys against girls, uh, it gets really rough because the girls have no rules. They'll tackle us, knock us down, trip us, take our sticks away from us, throw them in the weeds, knock us down, grab you by the hair, pull you to the ground. And this was really to show what kind of man you were trying to get. Because if he got mad whenever you slung him down, you know, then he probably wasn't gonna make a good husband. So that's really what the courtship was about. Objects of this game is to hit that fish on top of the pole and you'll get three points. Hit a foot or so below the fish, you'll get a point. And the pole can be different varying lengths. We like uh, about 30 feet for us, 24 to 30 feet. Some people use 12 to 18, so it's really just a preference. Well, I wanted to say what on for coming and spending time with us uh, and letting us show you Cherokee traditional games. Uh, we were doing the stickball this time. Uh, if you'll stay tuned and, and keep us in mind, you'll see other demonstrators showing other Cherokee traditional games.